Hey, if your Facebook ad account is disabled, make sure you watch this video till the end. Now, before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. I'm getting a lot of messages from my students and their Facebook ads accounts are just getting disabled or ads getting rejected during these crises. But guess what? I'm going to share with you a couple of different ways that I have used to get my Facebook ad account back when it was rejected or disabled from Facebook. Now, before we jump into the actual steps, I want to show you guys something. I don't know if you saw this news uh, recently. So Facebook is telling us that delays are expected when we submit the ad. So when we create new ads, do expect that there's going to be delays. And because of the global impact and all this crisis that's going on in the world right now. So here's why I'm pointing this out. What this tells me is there are a lot of changes being done at like Facebook. Uh, maybe there are short staff. They have a lot of people actually working from home. That's what they mentioned here. Um, maybe they're introducing new policies. So there are new things happening on the Facebook side of the world. And that's why I believe a lot of us are seeing our Facebook ad accounts getting rejected or getting disabled. But do, do keep in mind that it's the AI, it's the automation. Whenever our Facebook ad account gets disabled or ad gets rejected, most likely it's the automation, it's the AI. They just detect something or they pick up a language or a word or something on our landing page. And based on that, it triggers the automation and it triggers the AI to shut down or disable our ad account. And that's why it's important. Step number one I'm gonna talk about is whenever your Facebook ad account gets disabled, do appeal it right away. Uh, you're probably gonna get an email and let's actually jump right into this so here is the email that I got uh, actually a while ago when my Facebook ad account was disabled and you you can just click on this link right here you can appeal Facebook's decision or you can also go into your Facebook ads manager sometime if your let's say your ad was rejected and you can appeal it from there so you can appeal it from your email or you can appeal it from the Facebook ad ads manager but make sure you do appeal because a lot of time people see that their ad accounts are disabled and they're like oh my god what to do you know what's gonna happen now but they don't realize that in many cases it's a mistake that Facebook made right or it's the mistake made by the automation so if you appeal it there's a good chance that you will get your account back so that's the first thing I want to point out in today's video that do appeal Facebook decision to shut down or disable your Facebook ad account the right of it as soon as possible now that's number one number two is you're able to now some people have this access and some don't uh, I'm not sure why maybe it's based on the location it but it's still worth it still worth uh, trying this method and what this method is sometimes you're able to I've created uh, some videos in the past uh, uh, on this method on my channel but I'll just kind of give you a quick demo right now so you can go to this URL right here so business.facebook.com slash help so when you do that and then you're gonna scroll down and look at this so Facebook is actually telling us they're updating help center so there are things going on there are changes going on and they because of this uh, uh, crisis uh, they're probably introducing new policies and they're updating their algorithms and their AI the AI that makes sure the ads are the right ads get approved and the wrong ad gets disabled so you know maybe there are you know there's a lot of testing going on so that's very possible all right back to this uh, business.facebook.com backslash help so if you scroll down you're gonna see this section right here visit business help center and then when you scroll down on this you are gonna see this option right here chat when you click on this Facebook is just gonna ask you for basic information your name your ad account and also what's the uh, issue that you're contacting uh, contacting them about so if your Facebook ad account is disabled you can tell them here's the you know here's the reason my ad account is disabled and uh, I would like to get it reinstated so that's the method number two the first one was through your email or your ads manager appeal their decision and the second method is go to business.facebook.com slash help and go down right here scroll down and look for this option called chat now I do I got a lot of feedback on this and many people do not have this option and honestly I don't know why maybe I live in the United States um, maybe if your Facebook ad account has good spending or uh, good status with Facebook 
uh, based on the history maybe that's when you see it I unfortunately I don't know but in just a matter of few seconds you can actually go to that URL scroll down and see if you have that option actually many of my students were surprised they didn't even know that there's an option to chat with Facebook through the messenger so you might be surprised uh, surprised uh, in a good way that you're able to chat with them and then ask them questions about the ad account being disabled all right so that's the method number two and again I'm going to re-emphasize that most likely whenever your Facebook ad account gets disabled the rejected it's the AI it's the automation but when you get in touch with them via this method or by appealing then you get a human to review it and in many cases you get it back you if you especially if you have not made any mistake on purpose uh, and if you have not any broken any rules consistently you are able to get your account back now there's one other thing I want to point out both Facebook and Instagram have recently released a lot of new features and updates and resources to help businesses navigate through these times. So what I want to show you right here is, uh, here's the URL, I can uh, leave this URL in the description below, but basically Facebook created this resource for us to adjust your strategy during this disruption. So. During this crisis, during this pandemic, a lot of people are at home, businesses are closed, so there's a lot of things going on. So I would strongly encourage you to, especially if you are running consistently uh, the ads uh, for maybe for your business or maybe if you have clients, go to this resource. And actually they have, the way they have uh, created this, it's amazing. So you can kind of pick, you know, if, is your business uh, temporarily closed or business slow or are your business stable and growing so you can pick that and then also then pick what type of business you have or maybe your clients for example that's a restaurant and then these are the tips directly from Facebook so they're telling you based on different scenarios what type of ads to run and also what type of messaging to create inside your Facebook ad campaign so very powerful the reason I like to consume this is because it's coming directly from Facebook right so that's the the best resource you can have so that's the number three I will leave the link to this resource but I will strongly encourage you anyone who's running uh, ads on Facebook uh, go to that URL and spend you know 10 15 minutes go through this it's very quick read and most of the stuff you will probably know but it's still good to uh, kind of get the tips and tricks and uh, uh, from Facebook and especially what to do right now during this crisis during this pandemic now if you have any questions related to Facebook ad accounts being disabled leave those questions in the comments below thank you so much for watching this video before you go you know what to do subscribe hit the bell icon and also like this video and I'm gonna see you in, uh, in the next one bye for now